Alright, in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the first angle orthographic projection of this isometric figure here. First, before we begin, we need to identify our front elevation, which is indicated in blue. Then, this would be how our plan looks like, well, by the end elevation. We start by dividing the square grid paper into four quadrants. And dividing the fourth quadrant with a 45 degree line. Our starting point is 10 mm away from the horizontal axis and 10 mm away from the vertical axis. So this will be our starting point. We will start drawing the front elevation by drawing the base of 30 mm. The vertical is 30 mm as well. shape remember from the front elevation this should be how the L shape looks like so therefore the cavity will be in this region here finish up the top of the front elevation once we are done we will need this to come out of the Let's extend the projection lines. start now to draw our plan elevation again our starting point is 10 mm away from the horizontal axis and 10 mm away from the vertical axis now remember that the plan elevation would be how would be the perspective taken from the front elevation so in this case when we rise up from the front elevation and we look down that perspective with this line here on our left will be our plan elevation now back to our drawing so over here back to our starting point we have 30 mm By the long end which I was showing you just now, also 30 mm. Okay, a small gap here would be 30 minus 15, so therefore it's 15 over here. Three boxes. Again, vertical is also 15 mm. And another 15 mm. Yeah, it's also 15 mm. And another 15. So I'm making the total to be 30. Close this up here. And then label it as 30 mm. 
Next, we will extend the horizontal projection lines all the way to the 45 degree lines before reflecting it upwards. Our starting point would be, yes, you have guessed it, 10 mm away from the horizontal and 10 mm away from the vertical. For an elevation, the base of it would be 30 mm, vertically would be another 30 mm. The chop would be 30 minus 15, so that leaves us with 15. Goes down by 15. And it's 15 all the way. So this would be our cavity. Label the N elevation. And again for the scale, it's 1 is to 1, therefore we do not need to put any dimensions. And then end off with the symbol for first angle autographic position. And there you have it.